Okay, this is this is one of those I always say we don't talk about Braille. It's a reference to something. But uh, I'm going to talk briefly a story about my fallen brother because it just came out. An old story I was talking to my mom and it came out and I said, you know, shit, I need to actually make this public because it's funny. Well, it's funny and it's part of his charm. And he's not with us no more. Uh, so I had a brother, Mark. And um, he was a bit of a... I mean, he was great and also a bit of a dick. He used to... My brother Jim and Mark are closer in age. They're two years apart. And they're much older than me. Uh, Mark used to steal Jim's food all the time. And he was he was notorious for it. He was terrible with that. Mom would get a box of donuts. He'd eat all the donuts. And he'd end up throwing up because he ate them all. Like, I mean, he was just, that's just, that was just Mark. That's just who he was. You'd think he'd be fat, but he, he wasn't. Um, I don't know. I guess he needed all them calories. But this is the story I want to tell is Mark used to steal Jimmy's food all the time. Like, Jimmy would come home with some McDonald's or whatever. And he would set it down and go to the bathroom or something. And Mark would eat it before Jimmy got back. Sorry, I, mean, I just woke up. My throat is dry. And um, this happened over and over and over again. And Jimmy is like the nicest guy. Like he's very tolerant and he loves his brother. So he would like let it go, you know, trying to them good Christian values. Like, you can try and let it go. And he did let it go and he did let it go. But one time, one time, Mark comes home from work and he worked a long shift that day. And he sets down, I think it was a Big Mac. I'm not sure what kind of, it was McDonald's, I'm pretty sure. But I think it was a Big Mac. Like, it was something fairly decent. And he set it down, and he went to the bathroom. And Jimmy just went and ate that shit. Like, ate it. And Mark comes out of the bathroom, and he's, like, pissed for a second. And then he's like, I like this, the level of self-awareness. Mark's like, I can't even really get mad. I mean, after how many times I did that to him. I can't even really get mad. And that was the beauty of Mark. He had self-awareness about it. Like, he knew what he does, but he had self-awareness. And, hey, that's the first step. You know, what they say, the first step to solving a problem is recognizing you have a problem. So, I mean, did Mark ever solve it? I don't know. Uh, probably not. But he was at least self-aware enough to recognize when Jimmy took his sandwich. It is what it is. Hey, you get what you give. And don't get me wrong, I love my brother. He's my fallen brother, but he's my brother. And I say fallen because it was not natural causes. But, um... There is something else I wanted to say about him. Oh, my damn milkshakes. Because he did it to me, too, and I never did get him back. So at least Jimmy got him back. Because he also... Me and my dad used to go to this place called Fowler's, which they, they had. They were a chocolatier, but they also made amazing um, milkshakes. And um, I used to get the big milkshake, which my dad would let me, because it was only like a dollar more from the small to the large. And the large was like triple the size of the small, so why wouldn't you for a dollar more? And uh, it might not have even been a whole dollar more. It might have been 80 cents or whatever, because like, this is back in the day. And uh, I'm an old man, so this is back in the day. And uh, my milkshake every time. I couldn't finish it because I'm a kid. I mean, I'm only, I don't know, 10, 9 years old, whatever. And I would put it in the fridge and it would, Mark would always drink it. So I would, my mom's like, well, maybe put your name on it. As if Mark didn't know whose it was. So I did that. Sure enough, still drinks it. So then I wrote all over it. This is Frank's. Do not drink. This is Frank's. All over the damn shake. Of course he still drank it. I'm like, Mom, it didn't work. She, I'm pretty sure she knew it wasn't going to work from Jump Street. Come on now. I think we all know who Mark is. But <laughs> but also Mark's the guy who will come and lay down tile in your bathroom. Like, you got a broken tile. He'll rip up the tiles and put brand new ones down. So you, you take with the good with the bad, I guess, with, with him. I miss him.